I have been interested in neuroscience basically since the, the first time I learned about the brain. I seem to recall it was in fourth grade or something like that, something at a very basic level. But as soon as I understood that there was this uh, structure that sort of guided behavior, I became completely fascinated with it. Decision making is a very um, pervasive behavior. It's something that we do all the time as humans. So it's a very basic yet very complex behavior. And it's, it's what I'm interested in understanding. We wanted to study the role of this cortical structure uh, called the prefrontal cortex in perceptual decision making. The cortex is actually comprised of many different cell types, and we actually know very little about what these different types of neurons do, what is the, the actual computational role of each type of neuron. In the cortex, uh, neurons can be uh, broadly subdivided into neurons that are excitatory, so they excite neurons that they communicate with, and we have this other class of inhibitory cells, and they inhibit neurons that they contact. So these inhibitory cells, they're characterized based on neuropeptides that they express, and they have different connectivity, they have different morphology, all of which suggested to us that they would have different functions, but which was not known before, particularly not for these sort of uh, more cognitive behaviors, such as perceptual decision-making. What we did is that we trained mice to perform uh, this perceptual decision-making or what we call a go-no-go -go auditory discrimination task. Their job is to discriminate between two different tones that are of different pitches. They hear the tone that we call the go pitch. They're supposed to lick in order to obtain a, a reward. On the other hand, if they hear what we call the no-go tone, they're supposed to suppress their licking in order to avoid the delivery of this air puff to their cheek, which is, uh, it's not at all painful, but it's definitely something that annoys them. What we did then was to, you know, train animals on this task and then use some genetic tricks to express a calcium indicator in each of these uh, cell types such that we could observe the activity of each of these kinds of neurons as the animals performed the task. The prefrontal cortex uh, in mice is actually a deep structure, which meant that we couldn't just use conventional techniques that are available to neuroscientists. So what we had to do was to insert this probe with this microendoscope uh, to target the, the region that we wanted to, and then we coupled these integrated scopes, the, the endoscopic scopes. The nice thing about the system is that the way we implant the microendoscope allows us to actually observe the activity, particularly in the, the prefrontal cortex, across different layers simultaneously. And I think where the endoscopics and VISTA system stands out is definitely in allowing us to perform imaging from freely moving animals. The take-home message from uh, this work is that there is a uh, division of labor in the cortex. What we observed was something uh, really interesting that uh, actually different cell types seem to specialize in computing different aspects of this task. Interestingly, when we looked at how similar each neuron was to the other one as a function of space, what we saw was that inhibitory neurons, they were all very similar to each other within each of the subclasses. This was not true for pyramidal cells. Excitatory cells that are close to each other tend to be much more similar to each other than cells that are far apart. This seemed to be a function mostly of which layers they're on. This will allow us to do um, perturbation studies of neural activity in which we can perturb the activity of each of the, these individual cell types and test specific hypotheses of what is going to happen to the behavior of the animal. And that way we can hopefully start teasing apart these very detailed mechanisms of how the cortex uh, performs really this amazing feat that's um, decision making. Mm -hmm.